Welcome back guys. Let's make something interesting today. It might look intricate, but it's only lines, circles, mirror and extrude. Let's get back to it. Now that we are in Fusion 360, let's insert the image. Canvas over there. We'll select the image. For that we'll select the plane. Then go to select image. Let's click on the image and we'll open it. Let the opacity be 100. Fine. So we can see it. Now let's scale it up. Scale it up to 5 over here. Okay. Now let's choose the right side. Let's start drawing the intricate shape. It might be intricate as I told but it's not intricate. Let's choose line. Select a plane. There we go. Oh, let's put that aside. The length of it is 100. So let's draw 100. There we go, 100. Oh. Okay. There, yeah. Now the other side, the dimension is 60. So let's take half of it. That's 30. Remember guys, it's easy to mirror things, so use mirror as much as you can. That distance is 15. Okay, that is 10 over there. There it goes, it's 10. Now the distance is 7 as it's given over there. Let's draw a line of 7. Okay, here we go. We got 10, we got 7, 15. The distance is 16. The distance between those two points is 16 over there. So let's draw a line of 8. Okay. Let's draw a straight line so that we can use that as a mirror plane. Let's go to sketch, mirror, choose all the objects. Those are nothing but the lines. Select that, select that. Then select the mirror line right there and that's done. Okay. So we got the one face of the object. Let's make that seven distance visible on either sides so there we draw two lines now that this is done we need to click on stop sketch and then extrude okay. let's choose the plane let's extrude by minus 100 so that you can see the plane and the object the distance is 32 The distance was 32, 36 and 32. That sums up to 100. So that let's highlight the sketch. There it goes, sketch. So that we make the cut over there, the 14 depth. Let's use extrude and use cut, yeah. There we go, 14, okay. Let's get going with the front portion of the object. So let's click on that plane, let's click on line, oh, the distance over there was 32, let me show that to you, okay, distance over there was 32, so let's draw 32 over there, there I choose it, comes down, 32, yeah, 32, then the other distance is 20, so let's draw a line of 20. Guys, just chill and relax. It's all about lines and extrude over here. It's really easy. 20. Now the other distance is 36. So let's draw a line of 36.
Then again, let's take a line option. We'll draw a line till over there. That's 20. Oh, it's misbehaving. Oh, there's more glitch over there. It's done 20, 90, yeah. Then let's draw another line to the end of the object. So that's done. So let's see what's the next dimension. That is 40. So that would end the object over there. Let's draw a line of 40. 40, yeah. Let's see the other dimension. Go oh, 10. It's 10 over there in the top of it. It's 10 over there on the top of it. There it goes. The distance of that is 32 minus 10 again. So we by doing that operation, we would get it. That's 22. Let's see the next dimension as it's 40 minus 10 minus 20 you will get it as 20 let's draw a line over there 20 yeah There we go, connect that. Let's trim it off. We can either go to sketch and trim it or you can click on T and trim it off. Now let's draw a line of 10 and just connect it over there. So we got the other side of the object. Now it's only extrude. Let's cut the portion off that's not required according to the sketch over there. Let's click on the bulb so that we can see the sketch. Let's click on that. Let's extrude it to the other side. That's 30 minus 30 because it's a side again. Yeah, sketch is done. Now let's draw a circle for that. We need a midpoint. Finding the midpoint, we need to draw a line. So by drawing this line, oh, yeah, by drawing this line, we can get the midpoint. Let me show you how is that. And the radius is 40, so the diameter would be 80. Let's go to sketch, circle. Yeah, there it goes, circle, 80. Trim that line off, yeah, that's done. 32 is the height over there and 16 the height over there so those part can be trimmed off that's what it shows over there just draw 32 just connect it to the circle the other side and then it goes up again again come on 90 huh guys if you're not getting that click on tab and type in 90 it will be accurate now that that's done, let's draw a line of 8 and let's connect it to the circle. And again guys, remember, mirror is my favorite. So after drawing this line, let me connect it with the circle. Okay, let's draw a line which would be the mirror line. Okay, that's done. Let's choose mirror. Click on those lines over there, mirror, select mirror line and mirror, yeah, okay. Distance is 36, perfect. The canvas, let's move it aside. 
so that you can see the image or see the object properly oh the wrong selection oh, cancel you okay there it goes let's extrude that off or cut it off so that oh it looks like a green lantern ring amazing that's 30 over there so let's extend the green lantern ring to 30 by using extrude and then that's 30 and 12 that will be 18 30 minus 12 is 18 That's off the sketch. Let's go to construction and use mid plane so that we can mirror whatever wave we have drawn on the other side or extruded on the other side. Once we have got the mid plane, just mirror it. We can use the timeline to select them. Click on the plane, click OK. And there it is. It's mirrored on the other side. It's so simple. Let's off the construction, the bulb symbol over there. Let's draw the circle in the front. Most of the part on the behind is over. It's only two parts remaining. Actually one. Now let's use this as a plane. Let's draw the center line. Let's go to, let's choose a bulb. The diameter is 40. So the circle that comes there would be at the center of it. That's 40 over there. Yeah, perfect. Then we saw a rectangle in between the circle. The rectangle over there has a length and width of 20 and 16. So let's draw a rectangle, rectangle, center point. That should be 20, tab 16. Okay, finish sketch. Again, it's just extrusion. Just extrude the inner rectangle to make a hole. Extrude the outer circle to just cut it. I mean, to just join it over there. Okay, wrong selection again. Yeah, let's cut that part. Let's on switch on the sketch. Let's go to extrude. Click on the circle parts and let's extrude. The circle is 30. But the other side is 20 over here, so it's minus 20 and OK, join. Yeah, OK. And the other side would be 10. Yeah, perfect. It's coming out of the object. So, yeah, that's how it goes. The last part. Sketch. Rectangle. It's actually a square. Or it's a rectangle, yeah. 14, 16, okay. Let's draw the other part of it. Let's sh let me show you. It's 60 and 30. And the height is 10. Okay. Let's take a sketch. That is 15. Half of 30. The height would be 10. Let's take a rectangle. Okay. 30, 10 fine with it let's extrude the bottom rectangle so that we cut off the unwanted part on the other side over oh, there cut it and now let's use extrusion again select that and that mm, yeah that extrude it to about 60 yeah there it goes it was so intricate when you looked at it or when you saw it but now it's so simple once you understand how to make it as i told you it's just line circle mirror and extrude nothing other than that guys try it out you will be able to do it thanks for watching the video we'll be back soon